وقل رب زدني علما Shape of the earth, it always makes references to a flat earth. 
Okay, how do we know? It's mentioned in the book of Job chapter 9, verse 26, and the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 11. And in the book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 3, that the, the pillars of the earth tremble. Now, obviously, the pillars of the earth means the earth is flat. Now, I'm not saying that science is perfect, once again. But what I am saying is, if you take Islam, if you take science and Islam, Islam is most closely correlated to science. That's what you'll find in chapter 39, verse 25. It says you come up there and you go to the house. That you go to the house and you go to the house. You take the four sides of the moon. All flow in the old open. Now, the classical scholars of Islam, they said this shows that the earth is flat. Some people like it, some have been able to be enough. Anyway, there's no one of the classical people in the Bible to say that it's round. But you find that there are people that have to tell you how to say that from the very first beginning of the day. So, if you use science as a barometer of truth standard, then each day you'll come to a truth standard and realize that it's flat in the world. That's why even the seekers of the snakes of the GGS race references. 8.4 million species. 8.4 million animals. Now we know from modern science, if we take science and throw it, we know that there are more than 8.4 million animals on the earth. We know that. So if we, if we analyze the GGS, the life science, we we'll realize that it's not disparate. The same thing is the case. Yes, it's not disparate. If we analyze the animals, now, the most closely correlated, I'm not saying it's a perfect correlation, but the most closely correlated is Islam. Therefore, we say, look, it's not just empty words, we're telling you just to believe the stories of the world. We're telling you that if you want to believe Islam is a religion that comes with evidences, predictions of the future, things that we discover is, is, is also in the Quran, things of that nature. The Arabic language is something out of the ordinary. The structure of the Quran, there's an incredible knitted togetherness of the Quran that could not have been described or put together by human beings. With this, I say, are you convinced now? That's why I'm saying it's because of the reliability of history and stuff. Last minute, I said, you know what? I'll put it in the stuff. Last time I got caught out, yes. so well, this has happened. Yes. People don't use that as a connection to say, well, obviously this is the reality. Yes. But that's if you believe that well, everything around you now is reality. Yes. Is, is, is this not the message you're afraid happening right now? Are all these people real? Yes. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? If you have to go down the side. Yeah, you're right. If you take as a presupposition that we exist, yeah. Yeah, then I can evidence. If you don't take as a presupposition that we exist, then fine, we have to go to that. We have to make an argument. What we're saying here, based on based on the reality that we exist, there's evidences that the Quran is the word of God, the communication to from Allah to us. Can you see what I'm coming from? You see? Okay, now all that's left we to do, my friend, is to become Muslim. So what I'm going to tell you to do, yes, is what you call the shahada. Now, when you say the shahada, what happens is now. Uh, this guy, he knows that. Yeah, yeah, it's your trap. No, it's not trap. It's not a snowball, it's always about to go, it's a trap. It's not. Come on, it's a good way. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, no, I'm alright, thank you. <laughs> listen, I'll, I'll tell you what to do, yeah? I'll, I'll tell you what to listen to me. Come here, mate. Come here, mate. Come here, mate. Listen, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>